Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Fitchburg on this Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020, a day that's been circled in the books for a long, long time. It's Election Day, and really it's coming to an end, uh, especially if you're tuning in here, uh, well, after 8 p.m. tonight, uh, you know, maybe. And if you're turning in at 6 o'clock, well, then you got a couple hours left uh, or, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever works for you. Uh, hopefully you voted absentee, so uh, votes are in. We'll give you an update. Uh, we got some numbers from earlier this morning. Obviously, as the afternoon and evening goes on, uh, things get a little bit difficult to uh, talk to the clerks, so we'll we'll give you what we have for an update. Uh, just on some general, um, general numbers as far as uh, what's been processed and people who had come through this morning uh, coming up here in the digest. We'll get you updated on your headlines, of course, too. Uh, and uh, then uh, uh, we'll check in with the Fitchburg Senior Center as well on this election day. Jill McCone is back, and uh, she's ready to rock your socks with an update, uh, including uh, talking about the vet uh, Veterans Day drive-by event coming up, uh, which is very exciting. They've had a lot of success uh, in uh, that uh, drive-by stuff, so very excited to talk with her and get an update. Uh, but first, we do talk about the uh, election day coverage. And uh, if you're in district number one, wards one through four, guess what? You went to a new location today. Yeah, you were at Little John's Restaurant. Uh, this is located at uh, 5302 Verona Road in Fitchburg. Really, at, yeah, you would enter off of uh, Anton Drive, essentially, uh, for coming in. And as you can see here, some people are coming out to vote. And, uh, oh, that works out pretty good right there. Andrew, I'm going to need you to do that from now on for me when I come into work. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we uh, we we are so excited that they uh, let us come in there uh, and uh, have uh, the election uh, there. And uh, thanks so for all of you who came out and made it a little bit safer for for everybody uh, as uh, they uh, come in. Yeah, very excited uh, for that. And again, busy day uh, for election coverage as that starts into tonight. And uh, I know our clerks have been counting, and we'll uh, give you the update on uh, what they've uh, processed so far for absentee ballots uh, as they started counting right away at 7 o'clock this morning. So I'll get you all of those details coming up here in just a little bit of time. In other news happening tonight, the Vernon Road Construction Project, there's a closure to tell you about. It's County McKee, uh, County PD McKee Road, where we close that Verona Road, excuse me, from 8.30 to 5 a.m., that's tonight through tomorrow morning as they uh, do uh, the work of, well, activating all those traffic signals underneath of the interchange, which is pretty cool. And uh, crews will activate that permanent, uh, uh, tra uh, the, the permanent uh, interchange uh, will be set up as well, which is awesome. You still can make right turns off of the interchange. There'll just be no left movements or through movements through Verona Road uh, or uh, County PD. I'm just all over the place here on that one. <laughs> Either way, I know that that is uh, closed tonight and so excited to have that open up uh, tomorrow. All right, meal donations. Fitchburg Senior Center is looking for meal donations, says here, as the pandemic carries on, so do we. And we continue to deliver just over 50 meals per day with the help of our amazing meal drivers and a select few kitchen volunteers. Donations towards the cost of meals have been at an all-time low, though. We like to remind everyone who is currently receiving meals that in addition to Funding from the Older Americans Act, this program relies on participant donations. The total cost uh, of each meal is $9.69. The suggested donation per meal is 4 bucks. Please consider what, uh, what you're currently donating. And remember that our donation of any amount is better than no uh, donation at all. Donations either uh, in uh, cash or check can be give, uh, given to our meal drivers to bring back to the senior center or mail via... Uh, the post office to uh, help maintain this critical program. Please consider making a monthly uh, donation. If you are not a meal participant, but would like to donate to the program, you can contact our friend, Mandy Miller at the Fitchburg Senior Center, 270-4293, or you can email her. That is on your screen at the bottom there. All right, Veterans Day, uh, uh, you can sign up uh, for, or veterans, you can sign up for Fitchburg Senior Center's uh, Drive-By Veterans Day Meal Event. Yeah, this is going to be a fun uh, fun event. 
but you what you need to get signed up. You veterans need to get signed up by noon on November 9th to participate in this drive up. And we'll talk more about this drive up uh, coming up on November 11th uh, with our uh, director of the Fitchburg Senior Center, Jill McCone, uh, in our show here today a little bit later. All right, deer hunters encouraged to help families in need through deer donation programs. Yeah, are you a deer hunter out there? Well, pay attention here. A family of four with young children uh, sits together at the dinner table. Since Wisconsin's deer donation program has first begun in 2000, more than 92,000 deer have been donated, totaling more than 3.7 million pounds of venison that's distributed to food pantries across the state. Uh, that's uh, pretty incredible. And each year, hunters, meat processors, and food uh, 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 pantries help families in need. They're working closely with uh, Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, that's the DNR, uh, in a partnership uh, uh, to donate thousands of pounds of venison to Wisconsin food pantries. Since Wisconsin Deer Donation Program first began, again, uh, 92,000 deer have been donated. Uh, that's 3.7 million pounds of venison which is just incredible. Hunters are advised to uh, plan for their donation by locating a participating uh, processor and uh, having their deer tested for CWD. Hunters should call the participating processor before dropping off a deer to make sure the process is processor is prepared to accept the deer. Uh, and DNR wants to thank all the hunters and meat processors for their participating in the program throughout the many years. Yeah, if you check for uh, meat, uh, um, you know, butchers or uh, meat processors, they'll tell you if they uh, partic uh, participate in the program. So uh, you can check that out uh, in advance if you are planning on doing it. I do believe you still get your deer uh, pay for getting it processed and stuff. And then again, it gets donated uh, there. But you can check the details from each butcher and see uh, what they are doing. But in a time of need, uh, that's a good one right there if you are a hunter and uh, participate in that uh, program. All right, finally, uh, we don't... Uh, <laughs> this one, uh, I, I like this a story. We do not mean I can't drive down the road like this. You're like, wait, what are you talking about, Jeremy? This was captured by <laughs> the state troopers. I know Andrew tends to carry a lot of stuff on the, the roof of his vehicle, but my first question when you see this photo is, how did they get it up there? <laughs> yep, how, how? Without uh, destroying the roof of your car, how is that sitting there right now? I mean, the machines are, some of them are lighter. Maybe they don't have like fuel in it, I guess. I don't know, but here's what it says. We want to remind everyone how, howling any type of load that uh, it may not uh, extend past the fender line on the left side or extend more than six inches beyond the fender line on the right side of a vehicle. Hmm. I think it's a little more than six inches <laughs> past the fender line on both sides of the car. So, again, the caption, what do you mean I can't drive down the road like this? There you have it. All right, uh, that does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up the digest. We give you a quick election update for the day as we look back at uh, Election Day 2020. Next, right here on Talking Pittsburgh. 